That's a scary prayer to pray. That's a scary prayer. And I, and I remember going, God, it's a beautiful song, but I don't want to sing that because I know that you're going to answer me and, it's, and I'm not going to like it. <laughs> I said, Lord, it's beautiful. I don't want to put myself in that position, though. And the Lord answered me, and it was such a tender moment. I, I remember hearing the voice of Holy Spirit. He goes, well, holiness is not gritting your teeth and clenching your fists just to say no to sin. Holiness, he said, be holy as I am holy. And I, I remember going, God, be holy as you're holy. Yeah, right, that's impossible. 
Well, God wouldn't have called you to be holy as, he, as he's holy if it's actually impossible to be holy like he's holy. And he told me, he goes, it's not just gritting your teeth and clenching your fists and beating at the air, trying to resist sin and say no, oh, oh, no, no. He goes, actually the way into holiness is simply to look at the one who's holy. The seraphim around the throne, they're called the burning ones. The, the word seraphim actually means the burning ones. And day and night, they do nothing else but just look at God. The way into holiness, the way into righteousness, the way into purity is simply to look at the one who's holy, simply to look at the one who's righteous, the one who's pure, because Jesus, you are worthy to receive a pure and spotless, righteous bride. Jesus, you're worthy to receive what you died for. You're worthy to receive what you paid for. You're worthy to receive us presented blameless and holy before you. So I invite you, church, we're going to sing this. Purify my, purify my heart. Clean my hands. Purify my life. Take my life as a living sacrifice. I want you to sing it because you're invited in to a holiness. You're invited in to the pleasures of purity in a way that you've never experienced before. So we're gonna sing this again. Clean my hands, purify my heart, because God, you're worthy to receive me as pure and holy. Oh, 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 oh,
we've been singing this, there have been thoughts, or maybe the Lord is pinpointing something in your life that you need to get rid of that he wants to burn. And I just want to give us the opportunity, I want to give us permission this morning to get clean. I don't, I don't feel the need to call anything out or to, to pinpoint anything myself for you, but only you know your heart before the Lord. And the Lord cares so deeply about your purity. He cares so deeply about your heart. And so, Lord, I just ask, I just want to take maybe 30 to 40 seconds, and I just want you to get real before God say, Lord, search me and know me and see if there's any wicked way in me. And ask, ask the Holy Spirit to pinpoint that which needs to be burned out, that which needs to be cleansed and purified. Oh, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we avail ourselves to you right now. We make ourselves available to you. We want to burn for you. There's freedom happening right now. As the Lord begins to communicate that to you, those things that you need to burn, just say, Lord, I surrender it now. I surrender it now. Come and burn it away. Come and burn away the chaff. Burn away the wickedness in me. Search me and know me, God. See if there be any 